We pick up where the last volume went off. Alistair trapped Laura in his magical tar pit, but she manages to escape back to England to prepare for the other Alistair's invasion. Accelerator and last story have a pretty nice moment. We see Misuka Wars, which is a pretty great moment considering we haven't seen her in so freaking long. Toma, Hamazura, Accelerator, Index, Althania, Seiji Mikado, Fran, and Takizubo, for who was there for some reason, all go to Egypt to try and sneak into the Britain. The Britain. The, 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 the place. We get some pretty fun moments with Hamazura and Toma yelling at their partners while Accelerator wishes he was somewhere else. Once we get to the border of Britain, the things get pretty crazy though. It's almost like Himichi had a dream and decided to put everything into that dream, into this scenario. We have cyborg dinosaurs, we got angels, witches, dragon made of organs, octopus monsters, a human made of concrete. In the chaos, everyone gets separated. Toma doesn't know how to really deal with this bizarre and insane position, so he just has a panic attack and hides behind a rock. Honestly, I thought this was a lot of character, but it was still pretty hilarious. Accelerator saves a night girl from being molested by an octopus. Hamazura and Takitsubo are in a truck arguing about where to go while the two magic gods are in the back seat. I guess they're the second group team, which I guess is fine. And at the end of the chapter, we see Alistair's group having returning a castle by making Toma being the one that gets captured and like tasing him and he falls down in the night see him. Uh, this first chapter I thought was really quite interesting. A couple of things weirded me out and it took time to process, but overall, this first chapter to this volume 20 was pretty great. See you on the next one.